I'm through the cam brake in, I want to go through and reset the ignition timing. As um, you might remember, the ignition timing was set pretty much, um, you know, by feel and making some measurements. So now I need to get it really set where it belongs. And in some ways this seems like a fairly simple thing, but it kind of occurred to me that as, you know, you look at modern engines, most of the time uh, they have uh, distributorless ignitions and you don't have to set the ignition timing it's it's set for you so this is a little bit old school um, so I just thought I'd take a minute and walk through it uh, here we'll go under the hood of course first you need to have a timing light and again those are less common these days um, I have a an old Sears timing light and you can get direct connect or this one um, has an inductive pickup. You need to find the number one cylinder or number one plug wire. Uh, on this Chevy engine, um, that number one plug wire is down underneath. Uh, number one's park plug, left front corner on this engine. And, um, and so what you just have to do with this is you have to run it down underneath, clip the lead onto the and I'll need both hands on this for a minute. So it took me a little bit, both hands, to get it um, get it down there. But there's the adapter right there. It's clipped around the spark plug wire. You want to make sure it's not up against the exhaust manifold. Um, if you've got access to the number one wire back in the back by the distributor cap, you can pick it up there. It doesn't matter. It's uh, it's a little tight clearance back there, but it's, it's your choice. So you need to do that one first. You need to have access and know where your timing marks are. And in this case, I've got them marked with white paint, and they're down. Um, you got to find the right angle where you can aim the timing light down through the belts and get down there to the to the right uh, point. And in older engines with vacuum advance and so forth, you need to pull off and plug the vacuum advance line. On the computerized engines, uh, we have to disconnect the connector on the uh, wiring harness to set it back to base timing and get the ECM disconnected. Um, on a tuned port car, and I think this may even hold for the throttle body cars in this same era. But there's a, uh, a single pin connector, this um, brown wire that comes out of the harness and runs over to the distributor. And you need to disconnect that guy. It's just, let's see if I can get it here. You just have to release that latch. You need to set it down for a moment. It's two hands, but it's um, it's just a single pin connection. When that one's disconnected, you can uh, the engine will set back at base timing. The computer will not be in control; just the module in the distributor. Then go underneath the distributor and find the hold down bolt and loosen the hold down bolt. You don't want it extremely loose you want it just light so that you can move the distributor but you don't want the distributor just walking around all by itself once that's done you can fire up the engine hopefully it uh, you generally want to do this with it warmed up a little bit so it idles so the idle is stable and down down normal uh, but it's easier to get yourself th get things prepped uh, with the manifolds and the engine cold and then warm it up and then come back and, and run your timing light. Um, also, most timing lights, if you, have a, if you have an inductive pickup, do require 12 volt power. And so you have a set of, a set of clips that then we bring over to the battery. Make sure you put positive on positive and negative on negative. 
and that gives power to the timing light. I also have an older timing light that isn't power. You take off the spark plug wire and you put it in line with the spark plug wire and it's self-powered. Um, those work pretty good too. Uh, the inductive ones are a little easier to use because you don't have to un uh, unclip the spark plug wire and uh, risk it falling off. Well, I've got the uh, timing light pointing at the mark. It's a little bit hard with the camera between the strobe of the timing light and the frame rate of the camera uh, to show you, but the uh, main mark the one with the line in it, and um, it's sitting at about three or four degrees, which isn't too bad for me setting that uh, timing in a, uh, you know, kind of by feel. So now I'm going to bump it up. Uh, I'm going to set the camera down for a moment. And I'm going to bump it up with a glove on my hand. So I don't get bit off the distributor. I'm going to pump it up to six. By turning the distributor just a little bit, can you hear it speed up? Timing mark is lined up at about six degrees. Try to get a good view of it here. Trying to get a good view. what it needs. Now you can shut the engine down, reconnect the connector over on the other side. Uh, this will set a trouble code for the engine. Uh, so you normally want to do is disconnect the battery and clear the code. Uh, but then things will go back to normal and, and you can tighten the distributor down make sure it stays put.